Hey everyone, it's uh, Tim again. Uh, first of all, I'm going to cover something, get this out of the way. People think I make these videos for fun? <laughs> no. No. God, no. Not... No. These aren't fun to make. These take hours, actually. These take maybe two hours to film, which doesn't take that long. Actually, it does take a long time because they are mostly filled with obscenities. The other half is editing and you have to watch it again and again and again and cut it out and then I'd censor myself. The only reason I would ever, ever make one of these is because I'm getting points for this. I get, okay, there's these things called challenge sheets and we, and we do them and they're 100 points each and I never do those. Actually, I've done four of them all year. Yeah, these are for challenge sheets. I get 100 points for each video I make. There's, I do not make these for fun. No, this is not fun. At all. Alright, got that out of the way. Second of all, um, the challenge sheet idea was puzzles. And I thought I had an idea, but I don't. So... Hey everybody, it's Tim Potts here. Today I'm going to be showing you a neat little trick about the number 11 and uh, one and two digit numbers. You know one digit numbers when you multiply them by 11. It's actually quite simple. So, for the challenge I missed, it was puzzles, but I figured tricks works as well. Puzzles, tricks, whatever, they all in that little category, sort of. So I'm just going to help you out. Um, I didn't know this. I'm not sure if I'm the only one, and I'm just weird, but I, I, I didn't know this until um like this year and i'm in geometry and i feel like yeah just 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 trust me it's really cool um so with one digit numbers and you multiply multiply them by 11 it's quite easy so one times 11 that's 11 and two times 11 that's 22 so you get the number two and uh the number 11 and you multiply them and you get 22 so you pretty much just get the number and get two of them so 22 3 times 11 is 33, and then so on. But, when you get to two-digit numbers, that's not so easy. It's, like, it doesn't work that way. But there's a pretty awesome trick that works. Um, actually, uh, math isn't that awesome. The only reason I'm making this is because of extra credit. When you multiply two-digit numbers, what you want to do is you get the number. So, say you have 23. 23 times 11. So, what you do is you want to get 23 and when you multiply by 11, you get 2 plus 3, the two digits of that number, add them together, and 2 plus 3 is 5, duh. So what you do is you put the 5 and put it in between the two numbers. It's like sandwich that number you get when you add them together. So 23 times 11, so you get 2 plus 3, which is 5, put 5 in between the 2 and the 3, so it's 253. Um... It, it works for any two-digit number, and I bet you must be like, what if the number you get is an also a two-digit number? Fear not, everyone. I, uh, I got this under control. If it makes another two-digit number when you add it together, you have to carry the number. So say you have 77. So say you have 77. So 77 times 11. 7 plus 7 is 14. So you get 7, 4, 7. But the 14, it, um, you have to carry one of them, so it's 8, 4, 7. Um, this work, again, works for any two-digit number. It helps you do math in your head. Uh, I just picked this up recently. It's actually really cool. Um, yeah, it's pretty awesome. Or, sort of. Anyways, uh, I want to make this quick video. Yeah, 100 points success. I have a B in geometry now. I will see you all. Never. This is my last video. So depressing, my last video for math. Oh well, I'll miss you all. Not really. Actually, I'd like to thank everyone. I'd like to thank you, Miss Long, for letting me, uh... Yeah, I'd like to thank you, Miss Long, for uh, letting me turn these videos in. They've actually boosted my grade profoundly. It's been a hell of a year, and I'll miss being able to do this.